Hello. Okay, so um, another yoga class. This one's gonna, we're gonna get moving quite quickly. That's why I'm standing. Uh, we're gonna start in a standing position. So when you're ready, find somewhere comfortable on your mat. Come into mountain pose, Tadasana. Um, often overlooked, but quite important. Um, so mountain pose is trying to build our body into the stability of a mountain. So we do that by taking your feet hip width apart. Uh, and if that's not quite comfortable for you, if you feel a bit more grounded with your feet a little bit further apart, that's fine. Or with your feet together, you know, work something out, make any adjustments you need to, to feel that sense of stability grounded down through the floor. And then we try to get a sort of flat profile. This allows gravity nothing to grab hold of. If we're like that, you can imagine gravity pulling down. So it's more effort to stand. So standing up nice and straight into that and a nice flat profile. Let's not allow gravity to grab hold of our body. And then slightly engaging your thighs, slightly pulling your tummy button in, loosen the shoulders here, let the arms drop to the side and the hands can go anywhere really, palms in, palms out, whatever's comfortable for you. But lift up through the crown of the head. You know that old saying where you've got that string attached to the top of your head and it's pulling you up. Okay, nice and flat through the profile, looking forwards, tucking the chin in maybe. Um, and then now taking your awareness within your body and feeling the pressure of your feet into the floor. Try to ground down through the knuckles of the big and the little toes and the heel to feel that stability that gives you. Uh, looking straight ahead, again, engaging those muscles which I've just mentioned, breathing nice and slowly. And just stay here just for a few breaths, just to engage with the feelings and sensations in your body. It's really good to get centered in your yoga before you start moving, to bring your mind into the process rather than elsewhere. Um, whatever it's wrestling with um, during the day, any issues, any problems. So having got ourselves centered here in a nice Tadasana posture, we're going to inhale the hands up, out to the side, palms up, come all the way up to the top, to tall mountain, and exhale down. So all we're going to do, a couple of breaths, just lifting the arms up, opening up the ribs, maybe your ribs opening up, costal muscles getting a bit of a stretch, exhale down, just get some nice gentle movements. Good. Okay. Now we're going to do um, a little bit of um, a rotational movement through the shoulders. So you might want to take your legs out a little bit wider apart here just to get a better stability and gently swing from side to side. Okay. A little bit of Tai Chi, if you like. Uh, I don't know what they call it in Tai Chi, but it's also a yoga move. It's called, um, I think it's called knocking on heaven's door. So not literally, you know. But as you speed up, as you build the momentum, the arms come out a little bit wider, a lot of those carousels, you know, in fairgrounds where you see the swings going around. So try to get a bit more speed going. This is actually starting to warm up the body, raise the heart rate, blood starting to move a bit. Uh, depending upon your persuasion, you could consider this as actually clearing out your Nadi channels to allow prana energy to flow through the body. Or if you were into your Tai Chi, which I'm not, I don't know too much about it, but I do think that it's a similar thing in terms of allowing chi, that life force energy to flow across the meridians. And I might be wrong. But you get the idea. It's gently opening up the body, getting the movement, getting the breath up, getting the heart rate up. It's actually quite nice. We just release the hands, let the hands slap into the body as if you're knocking your body. That might be why they call it knocking on heaven's door. Okay, just go for as long as you went want. I mean, you could go for 40 minutes and you could call this a yoga class, but it'd be pretty boring after a while, I think. And then come slow down nice and slowly. Another good move to get the blood moving, get the heart rate up, is bring the knees a little bit close together, soften the knees, and then throw your wrists off of your arms, just bending forwards in the knees, throwing the hands back. <sighs> Breathing out as you come down, inhale up. Again, this is one you can do for as long as you want. This one actually really does start getting your body warmed up. Great to do these types of warm ups in the morning class, first thing in the morning before you go into sun sessions, which is what we're going to do now. So come to the top of your mat into mountain pose inhale the hands up tall mountain look up softening the knees to start off with fold forwards bent knee forward bend hands on the shins lift the chest straighten the legs into a half forward bend feel that tension through the backs of the legs and then bend the knees plant the hands to the floor slowly walk back to a 
plank position, I press up plank position, leveling out the body here. You can drop straight onto your knees if your wrists are not quite ready yet. But you can hold plank, couple of breaths here, and then drop down knees, chest, chin, tops of the feet on the mat. Keeping the elbows tucked in, lift through and up into cobra. So lifting up through the crown of the head, pull the shoulders back, exhale to the mat. Inhale onto your knees, tuck your toes in, push into the mat with your toes as you lift your knees away from the mat, lift the hips up and backwards, send the heels down to the floor. And maybe you pedal through the legs here by bend one knee, send the opposite heel into the mat. Okay, from here, bending the knees and walking to the top of the mat. Tucking the chin in, rolling up to standing. One sun salutation, inhale the hands up, tall mountain. We'll go again. Soften the knees, exhale to the floor. Hands on shins, inhale, lift the chest. Straight through the legs, lifting and flat in the back. Bending the knees on the exhale, hands to the floor. This time we're going to step back into a downward dog. So find your dog, hips up and backwards, pushing the heels down, soft in the neck, looking back at your ankles. And then with a the breath out, we're going to slowly lower the knees towards the floor. So you feel tension in the bottom part of your calves, your soleus muscles. Then inhale back up, heels go to the floor. Exhale, bend in. Inhale back up and then inhale up into plank exhale knees chest chin tops of the feet on the mat with an inhale up into cobra movement to breath breath to movement exhale to the floor push up onto your knees tuck your toes in and then lift the knees up as you come into downward dog here inhale the left leg nice and high exhale knee to nose nose to knee as you round through the spine inhale lift up three-legged dog Exhale down. Inhale the right leg nice and high. Exhale nose to knee, knee to nose. Lift up dog. Exhale down. Inhale through to plank. Let's mix it up a bit. Exhale downward dog. Inhale through to plank. Exhale dog. Bend the knees, look up between the hands, walk to the top of the mat. Keeping the knees bent, keeping the hips down, take the hands behind the back, clasp the hands, straighten the arms and come forwards. Chest comes down onto thighs, arms come over the top and forwards, softening through the shoulders. See how far you can get those arms forwards. And breathe. Releasing the arms, dropping the hands down, tucking the chin in and slowly rolling up to mountain. Inhale the hands up at the top of your mat. And then exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale up. Side bend to right. Inhale up, tall mountain. Cactus the arms. Elbows down, shoulder height, palms facing forwards. Inhale, push chest forwards, pull the elbows back and hold here. Couple of breaths, really pulling those shoulder blades towards each other. Feel the work going on in your traps. Inhale, the hands up and a side bend to the left. Inhale up, side bend to the right. Really that stretch through the side of the body. Inhale up, one more to the left. Tall mountain. Cactus the arms. Inhale, chest forwards, elbows back. Really pulling those shoulder blades towards each other. Okay. Inhale, the hands up. Take the feet out to the edges of the mat. Bring your hands to your heart center and come into a very shallow squat. Take the arms out nice and wide. And goddess, as you push the fingers up, feeling the work going on in the hips, in the quads. Inhale up, drop the hands down. Okay, staying at the top of your mat. Inhale the hands up nice and high, tall mountain. Bring the palms together and bring the palms down onto your chest. Okay, grounding down through your left foot, we're going to step the right foot back onto the ball of the right foot into a lunge position here. And then lift the hands up, high lunge. Okay, inhale here. On an exhale, bend both knees as you draw the arms down out to the side and drop into low lunge or lunge dip. Inhale, lift up high lunge. Okay, now what we're going to do is ground that back heel down as we take the left arm in front and the right arm behind into warrior two. 
And then with a big breath in for your next big breath, take that left palm up, lean back into reverse warrior, looking up at that left hand. And breathe here, a couple of breaths. And then come back to warrior two, start leaning forwards over that left leg, and then bend the elbow, forearm on the thighs. You bring the right arm forwards into a side angle. And then come all the way back to warrior two. And then windmill all the way down. So lifting that back heel up, hands come to the floor. Step back into downward dog. Inhale through to plank. Exhale to the floor. Inhale through into cobra, lifting up through the crown of the head, shoulders back. Exhale to the floor. Inhale onto your knees, tuck your toes in. Exhale into dog. Looking up between the hands, bend the knees. Maybe a little jump to the top of the mat or walk to the top of the mat. Tucking the chin in. Rolling up to mountain, inhaling the hands up tall mountain, bring the palms together at the top, all the way down onto your chest, ground down through that right foot. Step the left foot back into high lunge, inhale the hands up for your lunge dip. As you come down, bring the arms out nice and wide. Inhale up, high lunge, and then back, you're dropping that back heel down. Float the arms down, warrior two. Right arm in front, left hand behind. Just take a moment to get this posture, the alignment, the grounding. Okay, with a big inhale, right palm up, reverse warrior. Feeling that stretch through the front side of the body. And then come back to warrior. Lean forwards. Bend your elbow, forearm on thigh. Come into side angle here. And breathe. Okay, come all the way back to warrior. And then lift that back heel up as you windmill down. Step back into dog. Inhale through to plank. Exhale to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale down. Inhale to tabletop, tuck the toes in. Exhale down with dog. Look up between the hands, step, walk, float, or jump to the top of the mat, bend knee forward, bend. Tucking the chin in, rolling up, standing. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Ground down through that left foot, step back to lunge again. Inhale the hands up. Exhale to rock it as you stretch out from the back heel all the way to the fingers, nice and try to get a nice long profile through the hands here hold here and breathe and then sweep the hands behind like airplane wings looking straight ahead bringing the shoulder blades towards each other as those arms cup up even higher really pressing down into the feet as well ready to step to the top of the mat inhale the hands up chair and hold Inhale here, on an exhale, sweep the hands forwards and back, come up onto your toes for a balance. Drop onto your heels, inhale up into chair. Quads working really hard now. Exhale, float forward, bend knee forward, bend, hands on shins. Inhale, half forward bend. Flat through the back, legs are nice and straight. Lift the sit bones up to tease a little bit more tension into your hamstrings. Bend the knees, fold forward, tuck the chin in, roll up to standard. Inhale the hands up, palms together, hands down to your heart center. Ground down through your right foot, step the left foot back to high lunge. They okay, hold in this posture. And then slowly come forwards into rocket, stretching the arms up, pushing back into that left heel, finding the work, the effort, keeping the breath nice and steady. 
Sweep the hands back, airplane wings. Step up into chair. Sweep back, balance in chair. Drop the heels, chair once more. Really working the quads this time. And fold forward, Bentley forward, bend. Walk back to downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Push the heels down, looking back at your heels, your ankles. Inhale through to plank. Roll over to the outer edge of your right foot, five side plank. You can lift that top leg up if it's in your yoga. You might want to straighten that top arm forwards, point the toes. Whatever you've got in your practice. Come all the way back. Roll all the way through to the other foot for side plank. And again, challenging yourself and accepting that challenge. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't work out because next time it will. Roll back to plank, all the way to the floor. Tops of the feet on the mat, pull through and up into cobra or upward dog. Lift the hips or drop onto the knees into tabletop, eventually making your way into downward dog. Looking up between the hands, step in, jump in, walk into the top of the mat. Tuck the chin in. Roll up standing, inhale the hands up, tall mountain, hands come down onto your chest, bending at the knees at the top of your mat. Ground down through your left foot, lift the right leg up into a standing pigeon here. And breathe. From here, lift the arms up in front of you. Start to straighten up, lift that right knee, uh, that knee up, that bent knee up into standing staff. And when you're ready, lean forwards as you step back into high lunge. And then a lunge dip, take the arms out wide again, coming down on the hips. Inhale, lift up. And then warrior two, ground down through that back heel. Reverse warrior as you lean back, look up. Come all the way back, warrior. Side angle, forearm on thigh. Bring that arm forward, that top arm over the top forward for side angle stretch. And then draw that right arm forward and back. Lift that back heel up. Take the left arm back into a low lunge with arms swept. And step up into warrior three. So when you're ready, lift up onto that standing left leg. Find some balance here. You drop out of it, that's okay. See if you can come back into it to find a little bit of balance and you're Raised leg only needs to be off the mat by a couple of inches. Drop the hands to the floor, standing split. Okay, with your left foot, your left hand on the floor, take your right hand behind you and rest the back of the hand or the forearm into your back. Stay here. If you want a challenge, do the same with your right hand. Find a balance, however long it takes. Drop both hands down, standing split, quite tricky that. Drop the left foot down, tuck the chin in, roll up standing, inhale the hands up. Exhale, soften down, bent knee forward bend. Inhale back to plank, shoulders on wrists. Exhale to the floor. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale onto your knees, tuck your toes in. Exhale, downward dog. Good, still with me, keep it going. Bend of the knees now, now walking, stepping or floating. 
to the top of the mat. Tuck the chin in, roll up to standing. Inhale the hands up, palms come together. Bring your hands down onto your chest, bend in the knees. Ground down through your right foot as the left leg comes up. Find standing pigeon here. And breathe nice and slowly. Lift the arms up in front of you. Start to straighten the leg up. Come up to standing staff with that knee bent, lifting up. Lean forward, step onto the ball of the foot. Find high crescent lunge. Lunge dip as you bring the arms down nice and wide. Inhale up. Okay, ground that back heel down, warrior two. Turn that palm up, reverse warrior. Really stretch in here as much as you can. More the way back, side angle. Sweeping that hand back, lifting that back heel up, taking the other arm back. Ready for warrior three on this side. So nice and slowly, take flight. Find some balance. Again, only going as far as you can, you need, you wish to go. Drop the hands to the floor, standing split. And then with the right hand and the right foot grounded, take the left arm behind the back. If you've got the stability here, slow movement with the right arm into the back. Or stay where you are. Drop the hands down. Left foot comes to the floor. Tuck the chin in. Slowly roll up to standing. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, bend the knees, float to the floor. Walk back into a downward dog. Inhale through to plank. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Step in the left foot back onto the ball of the foot. Wild thing. As you reach back with that left hand, push the hips upwards. Really opening up the front of the body here. Come all the way down with the hand to the floor and then come back to plank. Roll to the edge of the other foot. Step onto the ball of the right foot. Lift up, drive the hips forward and up and open up or stretch out through the front of the body here. All the way back to plank. Lower to the floor. Locus, so stretch the arms down the side of the body. Lift the legs, lift the chest off of the mat. And breathe. Release, hands either side of the rib cage. Push up onto your knees, back into child to counter. Stretch out through the back here. A few breaths, just checking in with yourself. Inhale into tabletop, tuck the toes in. Exhale into dog. Look up between the hands, step to the top of the mat, or walk. Tuck the chin in, roll up to standing, inhale the hands up, hands to heart center. One more sequence of this. Press down into the left foot, step the right foot back. Inhale the hands up, high lunge. Exhale, twist to the left, right arm in front, left hand behind. Hold.
inhale up, twist to the right. Inhale up, fold forwards all the way to the floor. And then from here, I'm gonna to step to the top of the mat, but take the feet out to the edges of the mat and sit the hips back down into a squat malasana pose, tucking the tailbone under. So flattening through the lower back, softening the shoulders, really working those quads. Pressing the palms gently together. And then slowly coming out of that into an upright position, bringing the feet together. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, straight leg forward bend. Swap to the floor. Lifting the sit bones up, finding that stretch through the backs of the legs. Lowering the chest and the head towards the floor. and then bend the knees, slowly roll up to standing. Inhale the hands up, hands down onto your chest. Ground down through the right foot, step the left leg back, high lunge here. When you're ready, turn your shoulders to the right for a lunge twist, left arm in front, right behind. Inhale up, look to the front, exhale, turn around the other way. Inhale, lift up, exhale, take the hands to the top of the mat, step back to dog. Inhale the left leg nice and high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow and hold. Pulling your tummy button in here. Inhale, lift up, good, keep going. Exhale down. Inhale the right leg nice and high, three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow and hold. Well done, inhale up, back to dog. Drop both knees down to the floor, bring the knees together. Tops of the feet on the mat, sit the hips back onto the heels, let the forehead come down. Take the arms down the side of the body, release the elbows to the floor. Just feeling the connection with sensations in your body, your heart rate, your breath, slowing things down a little. Lift the head, slowly come all the way up. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale the hands up into hero pose. Side bend to the left. Maybe the hand just comes down or you can get the hand grounded. Inhale up, side bend to the right. Inhale up, take the hands down in front of you, tuck the toes in. Push back up to come up onto your toes, find some stability here with your hands and stay here if this is enough for you. If you can find that stability to bring your hands into your chest, namaskara, this is fine, stay here. If you want to challenge yourself, engage in your quads, slowly come up onto your toes all the way up into a very tall mountain. Bring your hands to your heart center, keeping the knees, the quads active, slowly coming all the way back, nice and slow, really working the process. Quads engaged. Come down as much and slow as you can. 
Well done. Let the hands down, drop the knees down. Leaving the toes tucked in, come back into downward dog, pedal out through the legs. Drop your right knee to the floor. Step your left foot forwards. Inch of that right knee backwards a little bit. Um, crescent move. Okay, softening the shoulders here, not shrugging, leaning into this lunge, stretching the hip flexor, looking forwards, but height through the fingers, pulling the belly in. Fold forwards, hands down to the floor, either side of that left foot. Tucking the right toes in. Gonna lift that right knee off the mat, straighten the right leg, walk the hands backwards, see if we can straighten or at least get tension into that left leg. Doesn't matter if your leg's bent, if you've got tension, that's good enough. But find tension in your body, push back into your right heel. Try to lift the chest up, try to lower the chest down. Finding that stretch in the hamstring. Now this is where it really starts getting good. Your left hamstring, your sit bone, the bony bit at the bottom of your pelvis, pull that backwards. With your left foot grounded, you are really pulling on that hamstring now. This is a fantastic stretch. Stay here for five breaths, keeping that momentum of your sit bone going backwards. Try to soften the contractions any tightness in your knee, your hips, any active muscle, including your pelvic floor, pull that sit bone backwards. This is traction. This is a really great stretch. It's right in the belly of the muscle. You can feel it. Keep it on. It's worth it. Okay, bend, take, take that stretch out, bend, bend the knee. Push the hands into the mat, step back into downward dog. Now feel how the difference between both legs. Feel how that feels for you. If you don't feel anything, that's okay. But if you really, really stretch that hammy, you can just, just feel the difference. Okay. Dropping the left knee to the floor. Step the right foot forward between the hands, inching that left knee backwards a little bit. When you're ready, engage in your tummy, your core. Lift the hands up, crescent move. Pull the belly in even harder, lean into this lunge. Soften the shoulders, so not shrugging, but hands coming up, height through the arms. Feeling the hip flexor stretch. And breathing nice and slowly. Going for a little bit more height towards the end. And release. Drop the hands down either side of that right foot. Tucking your left toes in, lift that left knee up, straightening out through that left leg. Walking the hands backwards to find tension in that leading leg, that right hamstring. And then lowering the chest down onto that hamstring. Deepens the tension, deepens the stretch. Push back into the left heel. And now your right sit bone, draw it back progressively, gently at first, and then go with what you've got. And for five breaths, keeping that sit bone going backwards. Softening any contractions around that right knee, the right hip, the pelvic floor. So you're pulling against soft tissue. Bending that right knee, pushing back to dog. Oh, that's good. And then looking up between the hands, coming through to plank. Hold plank, couple of breaths. If you want to challenge one leg off of the mat. And down and the other leg off of the mat. 
and down. Knees, chest, chin all the way down. Grab hold of your left ankle if you can for a quad stretch here and pull that leg towards you to stretch out the quad as much as you can. And release. And down the side of the rib cage, right leg up, reach back, grab hold of that ankle for a quad stretch here. If you can't reach your quads, come into a locust position, a back bend. Really, well, keep hold of that right ankle, lift your left leg up, grab hold of the left ankle coming into bow point the toes away and then when you're ready drive those shins away this is all in the legs use the legs to drive the shins away stretch the arms the arms pull the chest away from the mat pull the shoulder blades towards each other keep driving through those quads into bow And release, well done. Stack your forearms in front of you. Press your head on your forearms. Take a moment here, just to release tension in your body, soften, slow the heart rate, calm the breath. Feel connected with all of the sensations in your body. Okay, bring the hands down either side of the rib cage. push up into tabletop. Take the knees out a little bit wider, take the hands out a little bit further forwards, drop the tummy down, inhale the left hand out to the side and up, exhale, glide through, thread the needle. Left shoulder towards the floor if you can, rest the side of the head on the floor if you can. Gently push into the mat with the right hand to find a gentle twist through the upper spine, your thoracic spine. Take a few breaths here. And then gently draw that left arm back, return it to the mat. Inhale the right arm out to the side, lift up. Exhale, glide that right arm all the way under so the right shoulder comes to the ground. Rest the side of the head on the mat if you can. Gentle pressure into the mat with the left hand. Find that twist. Take some time here, just feeling, again, the sensations in your body. Drawing that right arm back. Bring the knees hip width apart. Tuck the toes in. Sit back on the heels. Okay, keeping your neck quite soft here and your head somewhere between your arms. Keep your arms straight and good pressure into the mat with the hands. Okay, going to come into downward dog. So push into the mat with your toes. Try to push the knees away, keeping your upper body still as you lift the hips up, straighten the legs, send the heels down. All the movement coming in the lower body. As you come into dog here, your upper body is still in the same position and you've actually come into downward dog in a really good way to find this really good alignment. Looking back at your ankles and then gently press into the bases of your thumbs the palm the palmy bits just below your thumbs here turn your elbow creases forwards inhale the left leg nice and high three-legged dog bend the knee take the knee out to the side open in the hip push back into the right heel and then slowly bring that left knee towards your left elbow as you sort of level out the body into sort of planky type position and drop your left foot to the floor 
and your left knee. Drop your right knee to the floor, inch your right knee backwards, find in pigeon pose, walk your hands backwards, come onto your fingertips if you need to, to lift or extend through the spine here, looking forwards, dropping the shoulder blades back down the back. Find this extension in pigeon. Anytime this is uncomfortable in your knee, back out, okay? From here, walk the fingertips forwards, maybe take the chest closer to the floor, finding rotation in your hip. Any discomfort in your knee, don't go further. Be compassionate with your body, be sensible. Take responsibility for your actions in this class. Getting into the longer stretches now. So this is a point where we try to switch off the muscles, rest on our bones. So as you find pigeon in whatever level you are, wherever you are in this posture, big breath in as you breathe out, let everything go. Okay, so we're going to slowly come out of that the way we came in. So walk the hands backwards to get some lift through the shoulders. Tuck in those right toes in, inch that right knee forwards, lift the right knee off of the mat, push into the mat with the hands, come back into dog to pedal out through that left leg. Just get the blood supply moving back through that knee. And then find that downward dog we was in before, find that alignment where you've got really good length through the upper back, pushing back into the heels, looking back at the ankles, soft in the neck. Then we're going to inhale the right leg nice and high, bend the knee, take the knee out to the side, externally rotating the hip, push back into the left heel. Lifting that knee even higher above you, find that stretch through the hips, and then draw that knee towards your right elbow, and then lower the leg down, ankle flexed onto the floor. Drop the left knee down, check in, just make sure you're okay, there's no sharp pains anywhere. Inching that left leg backwards and then check in as you come backwards, knee and hip, only go back as much as you need to, to find your edge of your range of movement, not going to the red. Lift up through the crown of the head as you use your fingertips as pyramids, extending through the spine here, drawing the shoulder blades back. And walking the hands forwards, keeping that spine extended and then lower it onto your forearms or as low as you can go. Again, take responsibility for your actions. This is your yoga. And as you arrive here, then check around what's switched on, what's contracting, where can I find some release, some ease some sukha, not dukkha. Breathing nice and slowly. So we're walking the hands backwards to come out of this posture. Tucking the left toes in, inching the left knee forwards, getting some lift through your shoulders, push back into downward dog. And take a little flow here, inhale through to plank. Exhale to the ground, knees, chest, chin. Tops of the feet on the mat, pull through and up into cobra. Drive into the mat with the tops of your feet as you lift your knees and your pelvis off the mat into upward dog. Lift up through the crown of the head, pulling the shoulders back, but pulling the tummy button in. And then drop onto your knees, sit back into child. Looking up between the hands, stepping the hands out to the left, still shoulder width apart, the arms, sit back onto the hips, 
draw that right hip backwards. Do you find that stretch through the right side of the body? Next, uh, target your breath into the right rib cage. And then look up, walk the hands all the way to the other side. Arms are still shoulder width apart. Draw that left hip backwards onto that left heel, stretching out through the left side of the body, targeting your breath into that space. And then come all the way back to center. Come up onto your knees, cross your ankles, whatever way you can, roll onto your bottoms. And then slowly low down onto your lumbar spine, your lower back, pull the knees into the chest. Squeeze and hug the knees, squeeze a couple of times. Keeping hold of your right knee, stretch out the left leg, let the left leg come on the floor. Head and shoulders on the floor, looking up at the ceiling. Keep hold of that right leg with your left hand, right onto the knee. Take your right hand out to the side. Draw in that right knee to the left as the whole body rolls over to one side. Keep that knee clamped with your left hand. And then turn and look back at your right hand as you soften through your right shoulder for this twist. Turn and look up at the ceiling, release that knee, straighten out your right leg, bring your left knee into your chest, reach up with your right hand, secure that left knee, take the left hand out to the side, and then draw that left knee across as you roll the body to the right, clamp down on that left knee, turn your head and look back at your left hand, soften through the left shoulder. Turn and look up. Bring both knees up into the chest as you come on your back. Draw the knees together and draw circles with your knees. Massage in your lower back. And then go the other way if you haven't already. Drop your feet to the floor, join the soles of your feet together, let the knees flop to the side, rest the hands on the tummy, breathe in for a count of four, breathe out for a count of seven. Feeling anything that's grabbing your attention across your body. And finding stillness, softness, ease in this posture. You simply let go of everything. And you can switch this video off now and go into your own Shavasana, relaxation, in any posture you wish. As I am going to conclude okay so hopefully um that was okay if it was i um, give me a like that'd be nice if it wasn't well email complaints on an email
Thanks for joining in. There's lots of other videos there. I'm trying to get one on a week if I can. And they sort of uh, are based on the public classes I'm teaching. So I try to mix it up. Most of the classes are different because of that. Um, if you want uh, to do anything in particular in a yoga class, send me an email. I'm more than happy. I love um, ideas, you know, um, some stuff, some material we can work with. It really gets me thinking and keeps me honest. Um, otherwise, you're more than welcome to come join one of my public classes and um, get the buzz of the energy in the room. Um, it's great. Face to face yoga. In the meantime, stay safe and I'll see you next time on the mat. Thank you.